This is the FR Sky GPS sensor together with the 8XR receiver. Uh, now the GPS sensor has to be mounted with up, facing up towards the sky, uh, unobstructed. I think it's okay behind foam though. It connects directly to the smart port on the X series receivers using the female to female servo lead. And when the red LED changes from fast flashing to slow flashing, it's locked onto the GPS satellites and ready to work. And that can take quite a few minutes sometimes. Using OpenTX Companion, I'll show you how to uh, set up spoken GPS values. You can do this on the radio, but it's just easier to demonstrate using uh, Companion. So I'm just opening up some models here. I've created a new model. Go to Special Functions. Choose the switch that you want to use, and I'm going to use the G switch in the middle position. And choose the action, which is play value for this one. And uh, I'll select the GPS altitude and have it repeat every 10 seconds. And I'll have it play the speed value as well every 10 seconds. And with the G switch in the down position, I'll have it play the distance that the model is away from launch. The distance function seems to be a bit hit and miss sometimes, so I think you need to restart the uh, telemetry to get it to work properly. And finally, whenever the G switch is not in the up position, I'll have the uh, telemetry logs recording onto the SD card uh, once every second. And you can view those logs later on in Companion once you've uh, connected the radio to your computer or copied the log files over. So you just open up a uh, log file uh, and I'm just choosing a, a good representative one that used the GPS. Choose a flying session and then choose what you want to display. So this is the altitude over time. And we can also have a look at the speed as well. Now down in the bottom left there's this interesting blue globe area uh, and that opens the log up in Google Earth. But first of all in settings you need to tell Companion where the Google Earth application is. So you go to application settings, Google Earth executable and just browse to where the um, application is and click that. Then when that's done you can go and click on that little blue area down below and the magic starts to happen. And the flight uh, path will open up in Google Earth in all its 3D glory. You can also take measurements uh, from the path by clicking on the ruler icon up the top uh, and then you can draw a line from say the start of your uh, flight to the furthest point out and see how far away you flew. On the Tyrannus, the GPS coordinates are included by default on the third telemetry screen. So by a long press of the page button and a couple more presses, you'll get to that third screen and you'll be able to see the coordinates.